Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to talk about WP Feedback Pro, which is a WordPress plugin. Now, in my case, this is a lifesaver and it might be for you too. Now, why is this a lifesaver for me? Well, when I was creating websites, I had a bottleneck. What is a bottleneck? Well, let's just put this out there. Let's just say you have a super fast processor for your computer and you have two gigabytes of RAM. So your processor is super fast and you are hold back by your two gigabytes of RAM. So that was my bottleneck when I was creating websites. So with WP Feedback Pro, that was gone. Before this, what I had to do with my clients is I built the site, I put in some images, and then I put some Lauren Ipsum text. And then I had to ask my client, hey, go to the side, check what you want to change and send me a screenshot and send me written text of what you want to change. That was the easiest way for me to do it. And trust me, it's super complicated for clients. And the other way I had to do it when clients didn't want to do that is I had to go physically visit them or the other way around to make physical changes where they saw my computer and they hey, can you change this and can you put that and it takes so much time away from you. So instead of earning a lot of money and doing it quickly because I build sites quickly, that was my only bottleneck like I said, it's solved with this plugin. So enough talk about that, let's jump into my desktop and show you what I'm talking about because I want to show you how you can actually save time also with your clients and also receive feedback if that's the case. So let's jump into my desktop. Okay, so this is the desktop view and this is WP Feedback's site. If you guys wanna support me, check out the link in the description. Now let's jump into my test site where I installed the plugin already and it's really easy and straightforward. All you have to do is head on over to plugins, add new and add a new plugin right here. So after you install it, it's gonna ask you to activate it and after that, it's gonna ask you who's gonna have permission to leave feedback. In this case, I left it open for guests to do feedback because I actually wanna make this video so you can actually see how it looks. Now, the other thing that you're gonna be asked for is if you wanna store everything just locally or also on the cloud dashboard. So you can view the dashboard over here on WP Feedback's site, but we're gonna to jump to that in a bit. So I installed it already and I got this little icon here on the right. Now, what I would do normally with my clients, I'll install my theme, I'll start working on the side, I'll change the images, and let's just do something really quickly. Let's add a brand new page right here because I wanna show you how easy this is. So like I said, it's super easy to install. I'm gonna start a brand new page and this is gonna be called Home 2. And in this case, I'm gonna publish it first. And since I'm using this builder, you can use your own builder as you want. You can use Astra, I'm using Divi. I'll use this Divi builder right here really quickly. Let's get this going. And like I said before, what I would do with my clients, I'll install a layout because I don't wanna waste time. And I'll just select the newest layout that they have. Let's go all the way to the bottom right here, the sushi restaurant, I'll use this layout. It's gonna start loading the, the layout in a bit. Let's just wait for it. All right, so our layout house has been loaded. And like I said, I would customize this because obviously you're not gonna use the images like they are. You're gonna change all this. In this case, I'm gonna leave it like it is. Let's just say, hey, you know what? This is how I want it. But you're gonna see that there's a lot of text that has to be changed. Like, hey, this is not about sushi. This could be a restaurant about hamburgers. And this could be, this is Laura Ipsum. Just fill in information, also Laura Ipsum. And let's just save this and exit so you actually view how the client is gonna view it. So let's exit this builder. All right, and this is the page ID for now. We are going to open an incognito tab right here. And this is a not login user. This is just plain public. Someone just logs in. And you're gonna see this little icon here on the right where we have WP feedback. Now you can white label that and I'll show you that in a bit. But we have this little easy to do and what I would say to my clients, it's like, hey, you know what? Your site is, the wireframe is done. Now all you have to do is give me the rest of the information. Like, check it out. If, do I have to change something? Do I wanna add something? So for example, this is the hours, right? And those are not right. Maybe they didn't give me that at the moment. So what they would do is just click on this little plus button and you get this little cross where if you hover over something, it's going to select it. So let's just say I'm going to select this right here. I'm gonna click on it and I get this little comment box. So in this case, I would say, for example, change hours to 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., right? Just 
and we send out that comment, right? So it's sent. Now, once the comment's added, it's gonna be added to WP Feedback's dashboard, so we can actually view it, and we are gonna receive an email if we want to. So we can set that up to receive emails or not. So if someone asks for a change, I can get an email. Now, this could be used for two cases. One, like I'm using it. If I'm gonna build a site, I want my client to jump in and give me what, they, what I need to change, right? Just tell me what I need. Or two option is would be if you want feedback. Let's just say you want to find so like bugs on the site, right? Hey, I found this bug. Well, you can use it for that. Let me let me show you how this looks. Let me just add one more of these. So I can add a click right here, and I'm gonna go scroll down and let's just say this right here. So instead of this, so you can say remove and add this. So one of the things that I don't like wasting time is writing everything. So it's not the same as, hey, you know what, put this, and they're gonna tell you in phone or or by person. They have to write it up. So that's what I would tell my clients. So instead of this, do this, right? So put this, just put that, right? And let's put add comment. So you can see it's pretty easy and straightforward. This was my bottleneck. Tr I mean, truth, truth be told, right? This is my bottleneck where I had to tell my clients, send me a screenshot, tell me what change you want and where do you want it, and if possible, send it uh, for WhatsApp or by email so I can just do a copy and paste. I mean, not just write over and then write again. So you save time. So let's go to my dashboard over here. This is my WP Feedbacks dashboard, and we're gonna click on this right here, and we should have those comments available right here. So let's wait for it to load. All right, so these are the comments right here, and this was sent out seven hours ago, nine hours, the time is off, but let's see this. Remove and put this, all right? So this is something that I selected. This is the little square you're gonna see right here. Now, something that I wish feedback would do is that this square should be in a different color. I'm not sure if there's a setting for that, but I wish it was like red or yellow because it could be confused with a square that's already there. But you can see it's highlighted right here, and the message, is right here. So we can go to comments, you can see this. Remove, add, put this, right? And we can comment back, we can add a node, so we can send the message back to that user, or we can add a node, or we could send this to a, another user. So for example, we got notified WordPress users, so if I had more users on the site, remember this is just a test site, but if I had our users, authors and all that, I can notify them. Or if I add users to my WP feedback users. So if I have users right here also, I could notify them to take care of that task. So for example, if I add a note, so let's just say uh, test a note, and we'll add that note right here. So that's just a note for someone to see. It's not for public use or for the client. This is just for you. And if you want to send out a message, that would be for everyone. And it goes on with the rest of these. This one was the next one I selected. Remember, we told them to change the, the hours. So you can view the comment right here. It's like, change hours, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Imagine how easy this is. Instead of having a client visit you or the other way around, visit them physically to know what the changes are going to be because it's such a hard time doing it by WhatsApp, by emails, by screenshots and all that. And you can save a lot of time with this. So basically, you know what you're gonna get with WP Feedback with time saving. Now there's a whole lot of things. One, you can view this right here as the task right here and we can go to my boards. So on boards, we have task right here. And this is way better because you have the option to change them. We have that option over there, but you can just drag and drop. If it's an open task, if it's in progress, if it's pending for review and it's completed. So you have an actual view of how the process is going. So let's just say that this one that we sent, for example, change, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., it's gonna go to completed. So let's just say I already fixed it, I changed it, and now it goes to completed. So that task is done. So you have a clear view of what's going on. And if you need to view something, so for example, if I wanna view this, I could check it out. And I could also start a timer to know how much time I took to change this task. You got more information right here. So for example, you got what browser they used, if it's a guest, of the IP, the task, the site name. I'm gonna blur all that out, but you have that information because, hey, maybe the bug that you found is only on Chrome and it's not on Firefox, just an example, right? So that helps out to have that information there. You can also do the screenshots, the comment also right here, and same thing, we can comment and do anything right there. So it's super easy to do and super easy to get the feedback and the changes that you need with WP Feedback. So it's super easy and straightforward. So next thing that we wanna do is white label it. Let's just say, hey, you know what? I'm a marketing agency. 
I want to look as pro as possible. So I don't want to have the WP feedback, oh, hold on, this right here. I don't want to have that logo right there. Um, I want to be a little bit more pro. Maybe also here on my WordPress side, where am I? Okay, over here on my WordPress side, I want to put my logo. So let's go to WP feedback right here. And maybe I want to show my own logo instead of WP, WP feedback if they have access to this part. So that changes are over here. So let's hover over to our dashboard and we're going to go into settings. Yeah, settings right here. And I'm going to upload my image. So let's do that right now. So this is going to be logo. This one right there. That's my agency logo. And the link that I want to use is my agency link. So let's comment. My default color, I don't want it to be blue. I want to be like purplish. There we go. So that's purple. Do you want to change the tutorial video? So there's a tutorial video for people to uh, like, you can make your own and use that instead of the other one. And if we want to take this on to remove the powered by or leave it on. And you also have the sent email address and the address that you want to be notified at. And you also have these notifications if you want to receive them or not. So let's save this changes and let's head on over back to our WordPress site. Now here on our WordPress site, we have to head on over to settings right here. And since this is based on the dashboard from the cloud, like I told you before, you can set it local or dashboard. We're going to resync dashboard because we're going to pull in that data and actually I already did, but you can resync it just in case. And there we go. Now it's white label. So I have my own logo right here and in the front end, let me open a brand new incognito tab and go back. So let's load this side now. Okay, now it's loaded and you can see the color changed over here. Now they are with my branding in this case. So it's a little bit purplish in this case. And if I click right here, you can see the logo changed right here and the link to that logo also changed. So it's the link I input. So you can see that on the bottom left and it's white label now. So you could be, you could look more professional when you're doing this. So it actually looks like it's your app and it's not WP feedback. So this is really cool to have that function because it makes you look professional. So let's close this up and you can see that was really easy. Now, if you need to set the permissions, like I said, in this case and in this video, I just left it open for guests to do it. Um, you don't want to do that. Or maybe you just, maybe your client is the only one who's going to log into the site. In my case, when I build a brand new site, I just have my client check it out. So it's, it's okay to keep it open. So you can see right here, guest allowed. You can remove that. You can stop comments from admins. Um, do not add this website to your dashboard. So if you just want to keep it here and on the dashboard, that is possible. So I think you probably saw that you're going to save a lot of time like I will be doing using this plugin. So it's definitely worth getting it if you are a website developer using WordPress. So in this case, that's a true time saver and the client is going to love you for it because they're, they don't have to visit you. They're, it's really easy. They're going to select it. They're going to make the changes. They're going to ask and you could do screenshots. You can do comments and a lot of other things that are not possible to just cover everything here in this video. Well, there you go, guys. This is WP Feedback Pro. And if you guys want to support me, like I said, the link will be in the description. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.